Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in Alaska with a fraudster who demands entry into a state-run building. But unfortunately for him, and fortunate for the rest of the people around there, he was denied access into the building. Now, there is an issue that I will point out as to why I am glad that he was not allowed access into the building, and it was staring everybody in the face the whole time he was talking with the management uh, over there. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome. Sir. Can I help you? Man. Yeah, I want to come in and uh, get uh, some information. I need to do some paperwork. Uh, paperwork for what? Who are you? I'm one of the engineering assistants here. Oh, I like your uh, tag there on the penny. Sure. Cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just need to get some paperwork and have some questions and stuff. Okay. Uh, are we expecting uh, expecting you? And who, who are you looking to get paperwork from? Uh, you guys. Transportation. Okay. Isn't this a public lobby? It says welcome. Uh, welcome to the Department of Transportation. Yeah, it, it is a state building, um, and it's not closed to the public, but it is closed to people that don't have business. Now allow me to uh, explain what set my alarm bells off whenever I first saw this video as to why he was denied entry into this building. And the first thing is this sign right here. It says Department of Transportation Materials Lab, which Materials Lab suggests to me that there's something going on there, such as chemicals and all that other stuff, something that you don't want to be tampering with. And it also provides you other areas to go to rather than this spot right here. Now, the second thing that uh, really set my alarm bells off was this placard right here, which further confirms my suspicion that he's not supposed to be here, and it would be very hazardous to anybody's health for him to be there, because if he doesn't know what the hell he's doing, he might uh, screw something up and people get get hurt or worse. In fact, this is what's called a hazardous materials placard, identification placard. I will get to what those numbers and the colors mean here in just a moment. So stick around and you'll be terrified uh, after what I have to explain to you. So let's carry on and be grateful this uh, frauditor was denied entry into this building. The department? I do, I just told you I did. Okay, well, and again, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to find who that is that you're you trying to get. You're trying to find out who what? Who the paperwork is that you're trying to get it from. You're specifically the materials department? No, from Department of Transportation Materials and Labs, the Department of Transportation. Okay, and so who specifically is the contact? And I, and I apologize for asking so many questions, but the camera setup has me a little concerned of why you're wanting to come I'm in. I'm just here so. getting information. Well, Frauditor, you want some information, dumbass? Well, I'm about to clue you in on something that you should know. Those, this building is not for the regular public, dude. And I can tell by that, uh placard right there that it is most certainly not for the public because my background includes a few years in the fire department, volunteer fire department, dealing with uh, chemicals, uh, hazardous chemicals like this, and a number of years 
working for the maintenance department at my local Walmart, which I had to be trained in hazardous materials management because you never knew what you had to clean up. You had to identify it and then go by the material safety data sheet before you proceeded if you had no idea what you were doing. So let's just go by this one by one on the placard. Now we're going to go with blue first. You see blue has a three on it, which means it's a really hazardous to your health, extreme danger. Now red, according to the placard right here, is also a three, which means it should, the materials should be kept below a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the yellow signifies a 1 right there uh, on that placard, which means it is unstable if heated. N uh, uh, now, going down to the white right here, you see the W that's crossed out? You should. It means, basically, you are not to use water on these chemicals. It will make it significantly worse to deal with. I mean, there are chemicals. Yeah, there are. Yeah, there are chemicals that you cannot control by using water. And then the uh, OXY is an oxidizer, meaning it can and will react very readily and rapidly with organic material, such as yourself, you blockhead. So, overall, you have no damn business in there to begin with unless you are trained to deal with any of the chemicals that are found in that lab douchebag. And those chemicals don't care about your First Amendment. They don't care who the hell you are. They will burn through you like any other piece of organic material. So, you might want to get yourself educated on this crap dude or at least get a job where you handle this stuff like i have in the past myself so everybody just be grateful that he that this idiot was not let in there and say it it's not here for only ill will i have no ill intent i just i need to get some information and that's it information on what specifically well um so do i have to because like the, all that stuff on the wall right there see that Right there, on so the left. Those are the certifications of our lab personnel. Yeah, those are public record, right? Uh, maybe? Who you would want to speak with is our the chief. Okay. You'd need to call him. He's not in today. Okay. But you'd need to call and say... Well, I'd like to do a tour of the, of the inside. I'd like to see what paperwork you have available. You would definitely have, have to available. speak with him for that. Okay, are you denying me access to this office? Dude, I wouldn't trust you with a bottle of Lysol, let alone the chemicals in that place, so you definitely don't have any business here. So my advice to you is to go home where it's safe and you don't have to be around these vital chemicals that will potentially injure you or worse if you don't know what the hell you're doing so scamper away little man go away before you get yourself hurt if you don't have business in here I sir, do have i'm business. not denying I you do have business what is your business um i'm not, i'm looking for for one i'm not looking for a complaint for one form. thing that can't come in here i don't know about that a complaint well, a complaint form yeah for one i need a complaint form okay uh can I need two now. Can can I ask about them? Uh, I'm leaving, so it won't okay. bother me. Okay. Can I ask about the nature of the complaint? Um, no. I would rather just fill it out and and make it. I would rather just deal with it. You know, I'll probably mail it in. You know, I'm glad that they wouldn't let this douchebag in here. Can you imagine this idiot messing around with chemicals that he has no idea? about how they work. I mean, I noticed that placard right off the bat, and it concerned me. But him, he didn't even recognize it at all, which is concerning to me that he has had no education in hazardous materials, and therefore 
he shouldn't be let in there to begin with. I mean, could you imagine the possibilities if he got a hold of some of those chemicals in there? And I'm talking about the stuff that might end up happening to him. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I just need to come in, take a look around real quick. You, sir, public... you can call and make an appointment. We are about to close. It says, welcome. If you have business here. But you're not seeming very welcome. You, if you have I business I do have business. Here. I just told you that. What is your business? I'm I, not hearing what your business is, other than you want understood. to complain about us. He understood. I need a complaint for him. For, we don't have complaint forms. You'll need to go to the building yeah. across town. And I'm I'll, I'll, honestly, I'm sure that there's a complaint form with the state on the state okay. website. And the other thing is, I need to, I want to take a look around I'll, the lobby and see what pamphlets you have, what public information you have, you know, for the public to look at. First of all, that uh, paper on there says "Welcome to the Department of Transportation Materials Lab," and then. It, has uh, a second paragraph directing you to other places where you should go for information. I mean, that much is uh, clear. And the second part is, with all those other signs around there that are concerning to me, I mean, like I said, they weren't concerning to you at all, which leaves me to believe that you are, an, like I said, un educated in the nature of what those signs mean and therefore could clue you in on the nature of this building right here being unaccessible to the public so dude as any fraudster would say go kick rocks you're not welcome here see that right there that's a bayonet violation it's a what that's a bayonet violation okay a bayonet a bayon act bayon act Violation. They act. Yeah, by denying me access to this office, you're violating my rights. We did not deny you access. You, you are. For one, no. you're standing in my way. For two, you're denying me a, uh, uh, a complaint form. Sir, our complaint form is accessible on the public no, website. No, no. And I would like to do a public records request. Well, first of all, the Bain Act really only applies to California, and that second code that you were referencing really only applies to civil rights. Now, let me ask you something. How were your civil rights denied by them trying to protect you in this scenario? Because that building has a lot of uh, volatile chemicals in it because it is a laboratory. So did they not hire you based on your uh, religion, the skin color, race, whatever? I mean, you would have them there if you were uh, complaining about your civil rights. But in this case, it's a matter of public safety, dude. You're not going to get in there because this, uh, it's a matter of safety because of the chemicals in this building, as you can see from that placard that is staring us all in the face. Uh, I'm trying to come in here and get information. That's all I'm trying to do. We, we are not denying okay. you access. Please come back on Monday. You are denying me access. You are denying here. me access. That's literally what you're doing, okay. right, standing so, by the door. So now it's become hostile. I'm not hostile. Hostile. Sir, you're, you've stated multiple times that we are violating your rights. You are. So Absolutely. How am I supposed to take that? You like, let me in and let me take a quick look around, get me a complaint form, and get me a public records and I do not form. have the authority to do that right now. You said he's a senior? He's the most senior person that's in the here right now. right now. Yeah, so he could do that. Or he he's, could get on the phone and ask. And he has said to please come back Monday. So that is what I'm going to go with. Have a good day, sir. Oh, poor baby. He's locked. He's holding the door. He's denying me access. Literally denying me access. Are you stupid or something? Let me watch. Sir, I'm locking the door. Okay, go ahead. Because you are threatening me. I am. And huh? I do not feel safe. Wow. A yep. Karen. Okay. If you felt threatened, then you would have had one of the guys come out here instead of doing it yourself. I want to make sure I let you know that you're threatening me. And I'm locking the door because I work here. Okay, Karen.
Well, I am certainly happy that they never let this asshole in here at all because, like I've pointed out several times with that placard, it was a dangerous situation to even let him try to come in here. I mean, in there, anyway. I mean, who knows what kind of shit he would have gotten into and what kind of accidents he would have caused because of his ineptitude. I mean, good for them that they didn't let him in there. I mean, thank goodness they were doing their jobs. And thank goodness that, well, he posted it on the internet only to make himself look like a complete imbecile and an, a very uneducated one at that, and one who seems to be most certainly unwilling to educate himself, because if he had decided to take a look at what the meanings of those symbols are on that building, he would realize what a complete damn fool he is, and then he probably wouldn't have posted this video, and then... Well, we wouldn't have any more entertainment from this guy at all. So, I, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.